Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes 1 and 2 of Koi Monogatari. Okay, alright. <laughs> Am I gonna say the same thing that I said <laughs> 10 minutes ago? Okay, I'm gonna tell you basically what just happened. Alright, so I was like 10 minutes into the episode, and I was drinking water, because, you know, girl gotta stay hydrated and everything, and I choked. Basically, I did say something at the beginning. Um, talking about Oshino's niece and how he can't trust her and, uh, 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 and wondering what her job is and yada 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 and stuff. And, and that's all I'm, really, I'm gonna say. Let's just hope so God, I don't choke again because I don't need that. That is like the second time that has happened to me while I've recorded something and I'm like, ah. But yes, other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode one. In three, two, one, go. <clears throat> All right. Ugh. But I really hate when water goes like when you're drinking something and it goes down the wrong fucking tube. You're like, Ew. me. One thing that I'm gonna say again about this: he's not supposed to be here. My thing is, you know, everybody told him to leave. Well, you know, he he probably's not even in the same town as him anymore. So, who knows? This is seriously just going to be him narrating. Though. Like, I mean, we were nine minutes in, but <clears throat> you serious? So fucking creepy in the 90s style. She looks gorgeous as fuck, and then he looks creepy as fuck. I'm sorry. Like, no. <laughs> First of January again.
Excuse me. I'm gonna get on a plane. Now, hold up. Let me just say one thing. I know her dad got a job, and of course, Sinjo Hara ain't got no job. But come on, man. You think your dad is gonna be okay with you going on a plane by yourself and want to go meet this man? <laughs> Girl! <laughs> I'm gonna choke again on this thing. Oh my god. <clears throat> Well, if you just would have told her the truth, you wouldn't be in this predicament. We would have been past this. I wouldn't have choked on my own water. Probably it was hers. Nezuko. I thought I said Nezuko. You're basically going to meet at the food court. And then we're now caught up because this is around the part where I choked. <laughs> mm-hmm. So let's get down to business. Question is who, bro? Because I'm still wondering. <clears throat> uh -huh. Mm 
Yeah. Do you want me to go for you? And then you not know, do as you're told. <clears throat> mm hmm. Good question. Probably not. They probably did that, you know. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't need to know everything that his girlfriend is doing, right? Yeah, we used to worry about those and not really drama with magical, even though it's gonna supposedly die soon. Yeah, because Nautical wants to kill them both. <clears throat> You know, every single day we're getting closer and closer to graduation. The end. Um... Oh, you changed. Yes. <laughs> I think I didn't have water or anything in my mouth. Yes.
Yeah, she took the paper and... <laughs> My thing is, like, is there still a way to get that? I, I don't want to say that they need to, like, in her mouth and get the paper, but... Is there any other way to getting her back to human without, you know, killing her, maybe? Because I feel like she might be the only freaking character that might die by the end of this series. She might not even be in the final season. Yeah. Yeah, basically, yeah. <clears throat> Okay. <clears throat> Yes. I mean, because you can do anything, right? You've done a lot of stuff, though. But hold on, wait, since Shinobu is, you know, inside of Akiragi, I mean, that's just count as one, right? She'll find a way. Oh, fuck. But Oshino's not here, though. Dude, he's somewhere, like, chilling. He'd be in, like, Tupac. On an island, chilling. Don't want to be found. Okay, you know you want to. It'll be fine. Yeah.
200,000? Three? Yeah, and the fact that she's sitting here talking with you, and there's so many much time left. In a way, it's like she's wasting her time if he says no. I mean, we all know you're going to do it, so just say yes. Like, for Christ's sake. Somebody. <laughs> There's a lot of links between Naganagi and several people. Yes. Just just say yes, god dang it. We're almost done with this episode. We got two minutes. Thank you. Jesus. <laughs> My God. <laughs> That's all you had to do is say yes. All you gotta do is say yes. <laughs> okay. I mean, is that supposed to be... Yeah, that's supposed to be optional. Okay. This was a very interesting first episode. Different, but very interesting. I mean, the dynamic to having these two really work together again, essentially. But, I mean, they're doing it on the side. Well, you know, when said Johanna, like, what she was describing to us when... He, she as Kaiki. It was all in good terms, even though in the end it wasn't. But I think that it's going to end good. Nobody's going to get hurt. Nobody's going to die. I, I don't really think so. I don't know. But, I mean, my thing is, like, what is he really going to do to...
stop Nicole. Like, I, I feel like talking to her as the snake guy and deceiving her to not kill Agarakun and Sanjahada. Like, I, I don't know how the hell that's going to happen. To me, it just seems like it's going to be impossible, but I, I don't know. It just, mmm. I got no clue. <laughs> but it was interesting. I miss my way. <laughs> I still do. Oh my god. I miss my daughter. I miss my child. Where is she? But the, there's my my kid. My other kid right there. It's Sheenable. Those two. But my way. <laughs> but then it makes me think. Because it's six episodes. And we're about to watch episode two. They're going to have to meet every single week. And of course, you know, she's uh, she's not going to tell Agatha Eichmann what she's doing. Because, you know, he's busy with college exams and he shouldn't have to worry about certain things and da 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 and stuff. But I feel like, you know, within these six episodes, he's going to find out. Don't know when, don't know how, but it's going to freaking happen. It's exactly like what happened during the Hanekawa issue, the arc. And how he was sending that text message, you know, it was all fucked up and everything. And eventually we saw that last week and stuff. But I, I don't know. I mean, I, I want him to be there to help, essentially, because it has to do with him. You know, I mean, in 70-something days, you know, it, it's possibly if he doesn't do this, or really, if Kaiki doesn't get through to, you know, medical, then, you know, they, they did. They all did. No what? No matter what, they're gonna die if they if he doesn't do anything in these next like <laughs> five episodes. And because of the fact is, it's gonna take three weeks to watch this show because uh, I was originally supposed to watch. Well, no, I could actually watch the next episodes either today is Tuesday, um, Thursday or Friday if I got time. But I, I don't know. I mean, but the fact is that we only really have I have three weeks with this show. And I really don't know what in the world is going to really happen next. And th there's going to be points where I think it's just going to go back and forth between both Kaiki and Sonjohara, where she either is spending time with Agaragi Hoon, and then um, Kaiki's doing what he's supposed to do for Sonjohara, and then there's going to be points in time where they're going to meet and discuss what in the world he's actually have, like accomplished as of right now. How, you know, some people will want, like, oh, let's have a meeting every, like, three to four weeks and like let's talk about all your accomplishments that you've done but I mean I don't know I got a really bad feeling about this like I I mean I like him as a kid mm, let me take that back I I like him but then I don't like him at times it feels like I still can't trust him even though like after all the stuff that he's like done to both Sanjohara and Agrahi's like family his sister into in case but it's just like you look at him and it's like yeah you know could you possibly deserve like a second or third or fourth chance maybe but then at the same time you know <laughs> fool me once shame on you fool me like twice shame on me and shit like that and then it's like at the end of the day throughout this damn show like by the time i finish episode two or even episode three four five or six am i really gonna like this character and trust this character a lot more i have no fucking clue i really don't and I, honestly i'm scared Really, I mean, this could be the end, I, obviously, I mean, because we still got Hanamana got today, and then a whole entire season three, I think, the longest season of, of overall for the damn series, so, I don't know, they're all just guesses, and I'm talking out of my butt right now, so yeah, <laughs> go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for episode two, okay, episode two, in three, two, one, go. Damn, we still here? Sure. Oh, yeah, because he didn't tell her the answer yet, so. Great, let's go home. Now you... You can't wait until after you finish the job, ever? Wait, no! Hey!
finishing the job. <laughs> Mom, stop. <laughs> <laughs> you know they gonna watch this on Patreon and be like, what the heck? Yeah, because y'all gotta go kick some butt. Yeah, that too. Yes. Yeah, because she is just, you know, probably sitting. She ain't there, you know, but she waiting. My, you know what? No, I'm going to wait until the opening to say this because it's something I've been wanting to say about her character for a while. And it's the parent situation again. <laughs> Excuse me. Well... That's a long story. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know very better, right? You know, so be careful. Put your guard up. Carry a weapon. Awesome. I kind of figured. Wouldn't that be a little too easy? How he might not even have it solved until Hanamana got today. Yeah, no more coffee. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let me see this. Okay. Nedrico's been at that shrine for, hmm, like, a couple 
we wild now, right? Her parents ain't saying nothing, not filing no missing people report, nothing like that. No, they just like screw it. You don't care about your kid or something like that. I, I mean, goodness, we've seen, we've technically seen Agarabi, Agarabi's mom. We've seen best girl's dad, but that's it. There ain't no other parents in this damn series. <laughs> I still want to know why she's singing this by herself when it's both of them singing. The, okay, so I'm guessing probably like maybe episode four they're going to sing together. <laughs> So I was kind of figured. So that is January. Maybe take the entire month. Take the stuff I do. Oh. And see, we, we couldn't see y'all together. I mean, you know, it's been a while since we've seen you two together. And I would much rather see you two than Taiki. I'm just saying. Fucking seawalls. See, you know what? That, that's not good parenting. I know that there are some parents who like to snoop on their kids and look at the things that they're doing. They look on their phones and their computers and all that. It won't mind that, but you know, some parents kids do that. It's freaking January. 
How are you going to sit here and tell me she's been missing for three days? But too late, she now technically she <laughs> she's going through that really, really, Yeah, why aren't you? Mm -mm. But it makes you wonder what's in that closet. And that they never touch that closet. Because see, something about that ain't right to me. If you're supposed to be a parent and stuff, you have all rights to come in your child's room and touch whatever the hell you want to touch. Mm -hmm. See? Couldn't happen if I was a parent. Mm -mm. If I was a parent, I'd be up in that room looking for shit. Well, she was. Yeah, but then she always says she's she's not cute. Well, uh, but hold up. Um, Kambaru was also there in that trailer as well. So why the hell doesn't Kambaru know? Is Kambaru going to know before the end of this arc? Going into Hana? Yeah, think about that. You two never really interact, or, except the phone call. But I mean, you know, interacting on a phone call is different than you know face to face.
Oh, clean. Things around me. Oh my god. He's a little too excited about that. Like, girl. No, 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 no. no. She's really way too happy about that. <laughs> I love her, but she scares me. And that's okay.
Like what? Not cute. Mm. She's not cute. Yeah. She might even be ending this series as a guy, no matter what. She may never be able to turn back to human again. Because she doesn't want it. He'll come back tomorrow. Oh, that. <laughs> You'll find a way. <laughs> That's a lie. Bro, he ain't coming back. Come on now. If he, if he really, really was. I mean, this dude is a liar. He lies about everything. How can I trust him in like, any fucking word that he fucking says? If it was like he lies about every goddamn thing. I, I don't know. I mean, to see her again, it, it's interesting. Because, I mean, yeah, the last time we saw her was like several weeks ago. A.K.A. November and such. And she's been missing since November. And it's just so weird. And it's also November, too. <laughs> but, I mean, she looks good. That's all. <laughs> she looks good. I mean, I don't know. I don't want her to kill him. I just, I want this show to, well, really, this second season to end good. Before we go into whatever the heck is going to happen in like the last, what, 40 or 50 episodes for season three, I believe. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I don't need her to like die and then never come back. We've already, you know, my way, my way, my daughter, she gone and I miss her till this day. And I feel like I'm going to cry again, but I'm not. It, it just feels weird now to have her gone. And then if she leaves or she dies or something, it's going to be really weird now. But okay. I think Kaiki needs a little more help. I don't think he's going to be able to do this all by himself, essentially. So I feel like my other best girl, my second best girl, is just going to come around because she's in the ending, too. I mean, she's not in the opening. And typically, you know, usually openings will kind of give you clues about who else they're going to, like, ask for help and da 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 But it's just really Kaiki and Central Hada. And because Central Hada isn't really telling Agarayo about the shit that she's doing, you know... Yeah, but I understand why, because you don't want Agaragi to get angry, find Kaiki, and kick his motherfucking ass, I'm just saying. But, like, I, I mean, honestly, he needs help. And what is she going to, you know, be able to do with him besides, like, give him clues and, like, give him leaves and this and that? I, I do want him 
to kind of talk um to talk to <sighs> excuse me I should even be sleepy at three something almost three thirty in the afternoon um I want him to talk to Kambadu for some weird reason and then I want him to talk to Hanakala as well I still want Kambadu to like literally know what's gonna happen and stuff because as from that trailer she's in that trailer that last little bit that we saw and she's gonna have something to do with this if she's not gonna know by the end of this arc she's going to be informed by Hana I, I don't know how and how they're gonna like say okay well I don't think they're gonna be like yeah let's go back to the beginning and talk about this all over again essentially you know one of them Sanjohara Kaiki or even Agaragi himself is literally going to tell you know when in the group this is what the fuck happened this is what the fuck we need to do and yeah I mean ever, like I said in the last episode we're getting closer and closer to um to graduation slash March every single day but it's essentially this is now from what the beginning of the office has said it's the second of January I feel like with this show and with the six that will five episodes that I have left no four episodes that I have left I miscounted um it's gonna go by really quick we're already now into January hell we might be at like by episode three and four maybe to the middle of january almost to the end of it then we'll be in february and then bam it'll be march when we get into hana but i don't know i'm just i'm I'm scared I, I really am i really don't want her to kill these three but i mean you know she this is the type of girl who is like you know i love him so much that yeah i would kill him and everybody else you know it's like brooklyn 99 when the lady had the dog and you know hey I would kill everybody in this room if anybody did to him. <laughs> if anyone did anything to him, I kill everybody in this room and then myself. And, and that's really what Nedeko wants to do. She wants to kill everybody and then herself. But I don't think she's gonna kill her, kill herself. She's just really gonna kill those three, and then that's it. But I, I mean, like going back to several weeks ago and like learning more about her and her story and thinking that yeah, by the end of that, she's going to try like not even try kill him in March. And I I really wished with this and they kill they can still kind of show this with episodes three to six um essentially when i watch probably both three to six maybe on friday or two on thursday and two on friday despite my schedule i'll have to see um i want to see him go to the shrine and talk to her i hate the fact that yeah it is this is kaiki's and central how to show and their arc and stuff but i'm like uh, it's still a little weird not to have agaragi like in this even though he is mentioned and saying oh okay well it was nice to see like senjohara and her dad go to the agaragi um agaragis and like hang out with them for a day and stuff i would have loved to see that but no you focused on god dang kaiki i don't always want to see kaiki because you know i mean see you know the reason why they're putting kaiki in this is like because y'all want me to like him that's what it is you want me to like him by the end of this this arc. I, I don't think it's going to happen. I'm telling you right now. It's probably not going to freaking happen. So stop. Even though you're going to continuously do it. By the time I watch episodes 3, 4, 5, and 6 between Thursday and Friday, I'm going to have a weird feeling. And I'm going to be like, hmm, remember what I said on Tuesday about me not liking him? Guess what, you guys? I like him now. <laughs> I, I will literally bet a quarter, a freaking quarter, because I got a quarter and we can do that, but I ain't going to give y'all money. But I feel like it, it, there, there's something about him that even though I dislike him, I'm starting to like him. And I feel like by Thursday or Friday, I will like him overall and be like, yeah, he was a good guy, even though I didn't like him in the beginning. But yeah. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes one and two of Koi today. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next <laughs> next Friday for the Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for episodes three and four. Bye, guys.